Okay, so I talked about this last week about how Facebook is going to be rebranding itself as some sort of meta something, metaverse or meta crap or something like that. Well, now we have the announcement from Zuckerberg, the uh, CEO of Facebook, the Zuckbot, and he has announced that Facebook will be called Meta. Facebook rebrands itself as Meta. This is coming from Zero Hedge, and there you can see the new logo for Meta. And uh, just to just to be clear, Facebook is not going anywhere. Instagram, WhatsApp, all of that stuff. Basically, what's going to happen is that it's not going to be Facebook Inc. It'll be Meta Inc. And Facebook's just going to fold under that as a product line. Instagram, um, what else do they have? The Oculus, uh, uh, VR glasses, and uh, what else? WhatsApp. Okay, so all those products are just going to be part of the new company, which is going to now be called Meta, right? Meta Inc. That's the big announcement. Pretty much it's what uh, Google did. Google became Alphabet Inc. And then Google just folded underneath Alphabet and YouTube, Android, etc. And so Facebook is just pretty much copying what Google did in this rebranding. But for Zuckerberg, this is all about Facebook moving away from being a social media company to now being a metaverse company, whatever that means. Basically what it means is just a virtual reality company, but they're trying to, to sex it up, you know, with metaverse. But uh, let, let's, we'll talk about the logo, but first let's uh, jump into this article real quick and see what it says. A week after The Verge first reported that Mark Zuckerberg would rebrand, rename Facebook, the tech giant's CEO just announced that the new name is Meta. I've been thinking a lot about our identity with this new chapter, Mr. Zuckerberg said, speaking at a virtual event to showcase Facebook's technological bets of the future. Over time, I hope we're seen as a metaverse company. That was what Zuckerberg said. And there's the logo. And I like logos, I have a thing for logos. And uh, this logo is pretty basic. It's uh, okay, kind of like a, a lopsided uh, infinity, right? A lopsided infinity, blue, the Facebook color, and uh, the font meta. Nothing special about the font, pretty meh. Nothing great about it. The logo, that icon is pretty meh. And infinity, right? Because the metaverse is infinite. Right, that's the message they want to send. It's infinite. You could be anything you want. You can go anywhere you want. Just put on your Oculus Rift virtual reality glasses and enter the Facebook metaverse, where we'll, where we will also spy on you and suck up all your data. But that's a different that's a different issue right there. Anyway, it's uh, what do you guys think of the logo? Uh, it's pretty unimpressive to be quite honest. Maybe if there's graphic design experts or logo experts watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm not very impressed by it. Not bad, it's nothing nothing great, nothing special there. And the message that they want to send, the infinite metaverse icon, uh, it's not that creative to be quite honest. There's something like this, you could probably find it in like a clip art gallery or something to be honest. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. Zuckerberg first noted in July that he wanted Facebook to eventually become a metaverse company. And last week, the company said it would hire 10,000 people across Europe specifically to build out its metaverse project. I mean, they're just making freaking words up. This is the type of world we live in. There is just no reality anymore. It's just all made up crap, made up words. And now we're going to have a made up world, the metaverse. It's, it's just virtual freaking reality. You're going to put your damn goggles on and you're going to be in this virtual world, right? And in this virtual world, you'll be able to be whatever you want and do whatever you want. And, you know, if you purchase uh, NFT art, you can hang it up in your virtual home because who wants real art anymore, right? No one wants real art. We want a virtual home with virtual art and virtual friends and just a whole virtual life because God knows we're not going to be able to go anywhere because they're locking us down all over the place and soon we'll have our, our digital wallet and our digital app which won't let us go from point A to point B and we'll have our social credit score so we're going to need to live in a virtual world right we're not going to have contact with people anymore because the the globalists are going to pretty much rein us in so I guess their plan is to rein us all in and just have us sit on our sofa 
and live a virtual life while they go out and, and enjoy the real world, right? No need to travel, just do a virtual trip. Meanwhile, DiCaprio and Clooney and uh, Klaus Schwab, Elon Musk, uh, Sergey Brin, Larry Page, Zuckbot, who else? Hillary, all these people are going to be partying it up, you know, in on the Greek islands. <laughs> right? That's That's the plan, everybody. Do not forget that. Now you see where all of this is going. Jab the QR code on your phone to the app, to uh, central bank digital currency, you know, to, you know, stay at home, join your virtual world and, and you know, live your life in Zuckerberg's dystopian hell. Anyway, here's a video. The Matrix is real, says this tweet. Let's play this. So let's start by exploring what different kinds of metaverse experiences could feel like, starting with the most important experience of all, connecting with people. Imagine you put on your glasses or headset and you're instantly in your home space. It has parts of your physical home recreated virtually, it has things that are only possible virtually, and it has an incredibly inspiring view of whatever you find most beautiful. Hey, are you coming? Yeah, just gotta find something to wear. All right, perfect. Oh, boy. oh, hey, Mark. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Mark. Hi. Hi, Mark. What's up, Mark? Whoa, we're floating in space? No, you're not floating in space. <laughs> None of it is real. None of it. It's just slicked up virtual reality. None of it is real. It looks actually kind of hellish, to be quite honest. Someone, like, calls you up and says, are you coming over? And you're not really going anywhere. You're just kind of entering a fantasy world of a, of a robot, some other dude that's floating around the table. You're not going anywhere. You're not touching anybody. You're not seeing anybody. You're not interacting with anybody. <laughs> it's hellish. It is absolute hellish. But now we know exactly where they're taking us. Now you know why Facebook was so invested in the Build Back Better Great Reset thing. Now you know why they're so invested in it. This is what they want to do to us. They are, Facebook is building our prison. They are building our prison, everybody. Here it is. Enjoy your prison. Put on your goggles, your virtual reality, Oculus Rift glasses, and enjoy your freaking prison. We're going to go and enjoy the real world, the privileged few. We're going to enjoy the real world. You guys sit in place and enjoy your prison. And the app that you guys have with you is going to make sure that you can't travel within five kilometers from where you are. That's how they're gonna do this. Hey, are you coming? Yeah, just gotta find something to wear. All right, perfect. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh hey, Mark. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Mark. Hi. Hi, Mark. What's up, Mark? Whoa, we're floating in space? Uh -huh. Who made this place? It's <laughs> awesome. Right? It's from a crater. I met in L.A. Uh, this place is amazing. <laughs> Boz, is that you? Of course it's me. You know I had to be the robot, man. I thought I was supposed to be the robot. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I knew you were bluffing. <laughs> hey, wait. Where is Naomi? Let's yes, call her. Naomi. <laughs> Hey, should we deal you in? Sorry, I'm running late, but you've got to see what we're checking out. There's an artist going around Soho hiding AR pieces for people to find. 3D street art? That's cool. Send that link over so we can all look at it. This is stunning. Oh, dude, that is something. That's awesome. Wow. wow. I love the movement. Wait, it's, it's disappearing. This is amazing. Hold on. I'll tip the artist and they'll extend it. Wow. Brilliant. If you guys like it here, I have another room that you're going to love. Check out this forest room. Huh, let's see it. Koi fish that fly? That's new. This is wild. Hey, one sec, Boz. It's Priscilla. Hey, you have to see this. Beast is going crazy. Oh, I love that guy. We've got to show that to the kids. Can you also send that to my dad? I'll message him. All right, see you at home. This place is great, Boz, but there's something i got to get back to. 
All right, so that's a glimpse of a few ways that we're going to be able to get together and socialize in the metaverse. Looks like a nightmare. That's not socialization. <laughs> that is not how you socialize. <laughs> Looks like a freaking nightmare. It really does look like a nightmare. Sneak peek at Facebook's metaverse. This is just the ultimate con, isn't it? People don't buy this. Kids don't buy this. Go out. Go outside. Shoot some hoops. Meet up with friends. <laughs> don't enter the Zookbot metaverse. At the same time, renaming Facebook may help distance the company from the many social networking controversies it is facing, including how it reported how it reportedly spreads hate speech and misinformation. Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey has opined in his inimitable way. Jack says, another great guy, Jack Dorsey. Jack says, meta, the definition referring to itself or to the conventions of its genre, self-referential. Yeah, you have like um, meta, meta tags, right? Metadata. So like in HTML, you'll have like the meta tags of an HTML play page, which is like the, the author, the title, the description, which is kind of in the, in the HTML markup language, the, the, the data that describes the, the page, the website, right? The metadata, the data of the data, I guess. Anyway, it's uh, what a nightmare. What a silly idea. What a nightmare. What a nightmare vision. Just goes to show how demented these minds are. That's not life. This is not life. You got a glimpse, not of the metaverse. You got a glimpse of hell. The Matrix, but hell. The Matrix actually looked, looked kind of better than that, to be quite honest. So yeah, that's the metaverse, everybody. Here's the statement. I'll put a link to the to this site down below, which has the full statement from Meta, which is a new company, introducing Meta, a social technology company. Here's the, uh, the About Meta. Let's see what About Meta says, this paragraph at the end. About Meta, Meta builds technologies that help people connect, find communities, and grow businesses. When Facebook launched in 2004, it changed the way people connect. Apps like Messenger, Instagram, and WhatsApp further empowered billions around the world. Now Meta is moving beyond 2D screens towards immersive experiences like augmented and virtual reality to help build the next evolution in social technology. It's not social. <laughs> That's for damn sure. There is nothing about Metaverse that is social. Even the name is, is a con. It's virtual reality. Virtual reality world. What do you guys think of Meta and the Metaverse? What do you guys think of the about statement? Meta builds technologies that help people connect, find communities, and grow businesses. Uh, actually, it's probably Meta builds technologies that will prevent people from connecting, prevent people from finding communities, and prevent people from actually starting up real viable businesses, like actually building things, doing things with your hands, interacting with people, interacting with customers face-to-face. -face. Meta is everything but that. <laughs> Meta has nothing to do with the real world. Meta is an illusion. Meta is a way for Facebook to monetize you further and to further control you and censor you and deplatform you and all the, all the stuff that Facebook is, is famous for. And of course, to, to sell your stuff to, uh, to advertisers and to give away your privacy to the uh, surveillance state. Keep in mind that none of this would be uh, going on if it didn't have the blessing of the surveillance state and the globalists. So keep that in mind. Anyway, that's the, uh, that's the video, everybody. Go to the Duran.locals.com and go to our other video platforms, Odyssey, BitChute, Rumble, Super U, and go to the Duran shop, pick up some merchandise, real merchandise that you can actually grab and touch and feel and wear. Not, you know, what Zuckerberg did with the, with the outfit. Duck, duck, duck. And then he said, I'll take that one. No, <laughs> that's not getting dressed. That is not getting dressed. Go to the Durant shop. You'll find great stuff that you can actually wear and put on when you go to meet people in the real world. Take care.